Hi all, you are watching Simulink tutorial and today we are going to see how to use switch case block. So let's start. So new Simulink model, blank model, okay. type switch, use switch case, double click on the block and if you read the description of this block, you'll know how to use the cases and its syntax so i want four cases including default so one comma two comma in square bracket three comma four square bracket complete okay so what does it mean if i write cases in this form so one two these are two separate cases so for one we'll have separate logic that we want to execute for two again we'll have separate logic and for three and four so they are combined together in a square bracket so if my input is either three or four it will perform same action for this case so one we have separate logic for two we have separate logic but for three and four we'll have one common logic and for default case we'll have again separate logic so apply okay so this is how it looks so we have case one case two case three four together and default case u1 is the input for selection of case okay now type switch and select switch case action subsystem so the output of switch case block that is case 1 will connect it to enable of the subsystem so that when input is 1 it will enable the subsystem when input is 2 it will enable this second action subsystem and so on so we'll copy this subsystems as we have four cases to cover okay so we'll add separate logic for all this subsystem so i want first case to perform increment second to decrement third to increment and square and last one will have default value say minus 5 okay for input to select the case we use repeating sequence trail block double click on this block so one 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 and then three and then two then 4 and let's give input other than 1 2 3 4 so when input is other than 1 2 3 and 4 it will perform the default case action subsystem So for increment I'll remove this input block. I want continuous increment. So type increment increment real world. Okay. So this will increment need one unit 
delay block flip the block so output will fade back to this increment block so initial value for this is 0 so it will keep adding 1 and will have the increment okay similarly for decrement we'll just remove this input then type decrement real world output of this decrement real world will connect it to output need unit delay block flip the block I want to decrement from 10 so initial condition as 10 and input of the decrement is connected to the output of the delay block okay again we want to increment and square for 3 and 4 case so I'll just delete this one paste it in increment and square so I want square so product delete this connection So I want square, so increment and square, okay, and this one will give constant value that is minus 5, okay, connect this. So this is increment and product square. This is decrement and this is increment. Okay, so at a time only one action subsystem will be active. So we'll use merge block. Number of inputs will be four as we have four subsystems. Select these blocks. Connect the output of the subsystem to merge block we need scope number of input ports 2 1 to observe the input and 1 to observe the output go to configuration parameter solver quick step discrete Step size 0 0.2. Okay. Simulation 5 seconds. Save the file. Okay. And simulate the model. So observe the output. Go to view layout and select two rows, one column view. So we can observe input and output on two separate subplots. Okay, so you can see here when input is one, it is continuously incrementing, when input is three, which is increment and square. So if we see here, it is 4. So initially for 1, output is 1. For 2, square of 2 is 4. Then 3, square of 3 is 9. Then 
here it is 16 okay so when input is 3 it is incrementing and giving the square output when input is 2 it is decrementing from 10 as we had given initial value as 10 then again input is 4 so it is incrementing and giving us the square but you can see here that it is not giving output from 1 but it is giving output from about 36 so we will discuss this later and for output 6 that is other than input 1 2 3 4 it is giving us the value minus 5 here so about this 3 and 4 case if we go to this subsystem and double click on this action port you can see here states when execution is resumed so when the subsystem is disabled it will pull its output and next time when again it is enabled it will start from its previous held value okay so that's why it is not starting from the one but giving us the next output value that is for first five sample it gave us squares from one to five values and in the next execution it starts from six so output is 36 if i make it reset okay and we'll simulate it again so you can see here for case 3 and 4 we have same output that is square of value 1 to 5 square of values 1 to 5 and not from 6 to 10 so action subsystem behaves in similar manner as that of enable subsystem so we can have option of hold or reset value when system is enabled again so that's how we can use the switch case and switch case action subsystem block to implement the switch case in simulink model the other way to implement the similar logic in simulink model is using multiport switch so if you want to see how to use multiport switch to implement switch case in simulink model watch the video at the link given in the description below and if you want to know how the merge block works and how to use it you can watch the video for the merge block at the link given in the description below again so that's all for this video if you like this video give it a thumbs up and keep watching and keep learning